Hey guys, this is Colin from Mobile Creators, and in today's video, we are doing a Luma Fusion tutorial. I'm going to be showing you the basics of Luma Fusion. Luma Fusion gets really deep because this is such an advanced video editor, there is a lot you can do. And I'll actually leave a link to a channel that goes through a lot of the Luma Fusion effects that you can do. I really love the work he's doing, and so that's why I'm linking it down below and showing him some love. So if you're looking to get into some more advanced stuff, I'd definitely check that out. Now here's the thing about Luma Fusion. I bought an iPhone because Luma Fusion was only for Apple devices. That is how powerful Luma Fusion is, and that's why I have an iPhone for the most part, is because of this advanced editor. I also like iPhone's uh, camera, but I love Luma Fusion. I'm going to be showing you guys how to use that today. I'm going to turn my volume up here a bit. So, to start off, we are going to click in the top middle the new project button and if you click that you can delete projects which we're just going to delete that one quick and then in the bottom left we'll click the plus button and start a new project which this project we'll just call tutorial for the sake of our tutorial you can then change the frame rate frame aspect but for the most part you can probably just leave it at that and then we're going to click create project now in the top left corner is where we can import our media in the top right corner, we have our preview screen to preview our video. And then down on the bottom, we have our timeline with some settings on the left and right. So to start, let us click on albums and let us go down to videos and let's import some video. So to add a video, all you have to do is click on it. And it'll actually pop up a preview of it on the right side where you can trim it or you can click play and preview it. But what we're going to do is just grab the video here and you can actually just click grab and just drop it right into the timeline. And there we go. Now we have it in the timeline. Now we want to scroll to the other side and let's add another video. I want to add this one. So we're going to grab this and drop it in there because this one was actually filmed in slow motion and we're going to be making that into slow motion. Then let's add another video here. We're actually gonna add my corn shot here. I really like this. If you watch my video on uh, getting iPhone XR cinematic footage, I'll leave a link to that down below, but I got this awesome clip of the iPhone XR going by this corn. I think it's really awesome. So now we got uh, three clips here. So let's go through and do some basic editing. So to start, all you have to do is click on the clip and then click the toolbox on that right side, right kind of in the middle there. Just click on the toolbox and it'll open up all the settings that you basically need. Uh, so what we're gonna do is click edit to start. Now you'll notice that on this preview screen that our actual video size is bigger than the box. Now the reason this is is because I filmed in Filmic Pro and I actually added the black bars. Uh, so what we're gonna do is as you can see on the right side, it looks a bit advanced, but it's not too tough Okay, so if we scroll down we can see size and position. I'm actually going to go to the size and shrink this a bit So that way We keep our black bars and it's not just filling the entire box there because I like the black bars now You'll notice here in the bottom right that we have four setting spots. There's fit mode cropping size and position and blending You'll also see on the bottom left that we're under frame and fit. Now you see there's four other sections here. So if we click this, this is speed and reverse. The other one here on the right is our audio. So doing kind of audio effects. And then the next one is color and effects. So this is going to be uh, getting into color grading. But let's start with the far left. We obviously just learned how to size and position. And see so you can see position X, position Y, which will move the video around in each of those directions. You can rotate it and flip it upside down. Uh, we want to leave that at zero. Don't need a crazy video at the moment. And then you can do all those fancy fun things. Um, cropping, again, you probably could just go through these settings and just play around with them. But basically all you'll be using is probably size and position if you're filming with Filmic Pro. Then we got speed and reverse. We'll be using this in a bit when we get to that slow motion video. Uh, but for now, we'll just leave that. Audio, you could also mess around with that and kind of change the audio effects. 
And then finally there is color, which I actually want to get into just a little bit here. Uh, for color grading, we have all these options in the type top right section here. Uh, so to start, we have under here these paint things where you can add different uh, little effects. Uh, as you just click around here, I'm just clicking on a bunch of random things here. Uh, for example, let's just go with something. Uh, well, why don't we stick with the one we're at, which is Cool It. Uh, you'll see that on the side here, the kind of like bottom right, you'll see Cool It and how we can click on it and open it up or we can close it up. We can also click that I button and block it or turn it back on. So that's pretty awesome. Um, I go in a little more in depth in my color grading video on iPhone. Uh, but I'm still going to show you guys some things like you can change the brightness, the contrast, uh, saturation, vibrance, all these other things. And this will help you with uh, color grading. And then some of these other ones you can add other effects. Like this is a LUT called Golden. And you can actually go down to Blend and choose how much of the effect is applied, which I think is completely awesome. With iMovie you cannot blend it. So let's say I like this action contrast I can blend it to the spot that I like it I don't like it at the full extreme and I don't like it all the way back where it was I really like it right here in the middle a bit um, and I think that is awesome and there's also some other different kind of color effects or blurs uh, different you know fun little things you can throw on the video if you really want and then there's also presets which once you make a video a certain way, you can actually save a preset. Uh, like this one is called Car. This was a preset I did. And also My Room 1. This is when I'm filming in my room. That's what makes it look good. And as you can see, both of these actually don't look too bad on our clip. Well, you may not see perfectly because it's kind of on my phone screen, but I think it looks pretty good. I'm actually going to leave it on My Room 1. But that's uh, color grading, a quick look. Um, so let's back out and uh, as you can see that uh, effect was applied. Um, but let's get into uh, adding text here because I think adding text is a major part. So on the right side you'll see that plus button uh, right underneath our toolbox. So let's click plus and you'll see there's voiceover and overlay title. Uh, we're going to do overlay title. We're going to put title over our video and as you see as soon as we click that uh, you can see that there's some text that appeared over our video. So let us click edit because we are selected on the text. So we'll click edit and you'll see there's actually a whole bunch of different text effects that you could throw in there besides plain white. Like there's this college main, uh, there's this uh, kind of like paper sheet, uh, just a whole bunch of different effects uh, pre-made for you. Uh, but we're just going to go with the classic here, just the plain white. And to edit that text, all you have to do is click on it. The text is kind of small. Uh, I usually edit um, in uh, portrait mode, but uh, for this sake, we are just going to edit this way, just because you're probably watching this sideways. So let's add uh, fun at the park. Boom. That's all we're going to add. So what I think is awesome with uh, LumaFusion is that you can actually grab the text and move it wherever you want. So if I want it up here, I can move it there. I want to move it down here. I can do that completely open to you. And then just like as we were looking at with the other editing things, you can see this spot here where you can click the eye, make it disappear or make it appear again just to see the effect in and out with it there and without it there. And if you open this up, you can affect things like how much of it is there, like the opacity, um, the size, if we want to make it a little bit bigger there and then move it over. Yeah, sure, let's do it that way. And then uh, changing the color, all those different things, you can go through all those different effects. Um, what I also think is cool is you can click on the bottom left here when you are attached to the text. And you can click this plus, those, see those three pluses there on the left side? Those are markers. So let's say we put a marker here, and then let's uh, scroll along the video to let's say three seconds, and then we will grab the text and move it over and we'll place another marker there. And now what that's going to do is it actually is going to move the text across uh, as we play it. So you can set different markers for not only text but if you import images over your photos um, 
which I can show you quick how to do that. Let's just actually back out quick. You can actually just go into your photos here. Uh, let's go into my moments. Uh, this photo of me playing a uh, roller coaster tycoon. I'm just gonna grab that photo and you can actually just drop it right above. And there we go. And let's actually click edit so we can change the size and position of it because I don't want to take up the whole image. There we go. Move it to the corner here. And I will go back and see, you could have the photo right there like that, but you could also apply that same uh, plus effect. Uh, as you can see, we'll go to the beginning of the video, add it, then we'll scroll ahead to, let's say, uh, well, let's uh, go about there, and we can move it over. And there, I just did another waypoint for us. So let's go back, and as you can see here, it just moved it across the screen. So adding those, playing around with those is a really fun thing, uh, but we're gonna move on. Uh, we don't need to mess around too much anymore with that. Next, let's do the slow motion here. As you can see, um, she throws the leaves up, and I believe this was filmed at uh, 240 frames per second. Uh, so what we're gonna do is uh, just simply click on the video, click that toolbox again, edit, and then we want to go to the speed and slow-mo at 30 frames per second. Uh, so what we're gonna do is actually slow it down to 1 8th. So when we click play, you'll see it is slowed quite a bit down. That might be too slow. So let's do half the speed. Um, let's go back. Now let's click play. There, now we had the slow-mo video added and it automatically adjusted right here and our clip is still there. Not sure why that popped up. I turned on do not disturb, oh well. Now if we wanted to add a transition between this clip and this one, we just go in between them, click the plus button and then we just click add a transition and it automatically applied this transition but we could always go in and edit that if we wanted to. There, now we got a transition in between there. And besides just putting stuff together, trimming, adding text, and maybe doing some color grading, that's pretty much all you really need to know to get started using LumaFusion. Honestly, the key is to start exploring, messing around, and that's why I'm saying go to the channel link down below um, where they go through a lot of the different fun effects that you can actually do uh, within LumaFusion. But that is the basics. So in the top right, we'll click that. It's kind of like a door with an arrow. You click on that, then you can export the video. So we just click movie, you click photos, and then you can choose the size and how high you want the quality, the frame rate, and then you can have that exported out. And that does it for our tutorial on LumaFusion. If you like this video, please actually give it a like. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, thank you for watching, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Thanks.